Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Like MRI. And this is a 45-year-old female with complaints of bilateral hip pain and pelvic pain. The doctor ordered an MRI of the pelvis and things look really good in the pelvis. But there is a problem with the hips. So the hip joints look good. This is the right femur. This is the right acetabulum. There's no arthritis, no spurring of the hip on the right or left here. This is the bladder in the middle. But the patient does have a little bit of spurring from the top and bottom of this left greater trochanter. This is the outside of the femur, the greater trochanter. Here's the lesser trochanter. So some spurring from the left uh, superior and inferior portions of the greater trochanter. Similar things on the right, a little bony spur here, a little bony spur in the bottom. And also, if we put up a fluid sensitive uh, sequence here, we see that in addition to the bony spurring, which we can't see here very well, we see that there is bright signal over the surface. So this is in the trochanteric bursa. There's an acute bursitis. So we call this trochanteric bursitis. All the gluteus muscles come down here and they attach to the greater trochanter. And when, if there's trauma or repetitive overuse or an arthritic process like in this patient, the bursa can become acutely inflamed. This will usually get better with time, but occasionally if it doesn't get better, they may have to give a steroid shot there. But a fairly common uh, uh, cause of bilateral hip pain. Sometimes it's just unilateral, sometimes bilateral like in this patient, but it's called acute trochanteric bursitis, which is inflammation of the bursa, a potential space overlying the greater trochanters.